Okay, just a couple more things on the dulce de leche. Um, something I would say about the texture, very creamy. And also we noticed that it both, it reminded both of us a little bit of a, a good ripe papaya. So just a couple other comments. So moving on to the Kent, and I will tell you that the green ones over here are not um, unripe. Everything on here is very ripe, even this. And I am skeptical that all of these are Kent because he had them hanging in a basket and he was just trying to give me some extra mango. Uh, but I think that the Kent has this mottled, you can see it's almost got a brownish to it and that's not because it's rotten, it's like a mixture of color. Here's another one where you can see that. But you can also see these are ripe, very ripe. This mango is fantastic. It's got very little fiber in it, um, cuts way down to the seed. It's juicy without being a total mess. It's got some fiber, but it seemed like there wasn't really a direction I couldn't cut it on. So um, I will probably process all of these mangoes tonight. Uh, so we might not do anything special with Kent. Uh, might be a sorbet <laughs> because they're really ripe and they're gonna need to be cut up tonight. Um, so I will say a couple more things though about, I would say that there's a honey flavor to this one and it really melts against your teeth. I can't think of another fruit like that, that it's almost like you could just mash it with your tongue. It doesn't need to be chewed. Um, yeah, that's definitely true. You don't have to chew this one. I suppose it's like a, a nectarine. It's more like a nectarine. Got it.